Nicola, were you at all surprised that, that they opted to start small? And why do you think you had such an advantage inside, um, you know, and kind of just forcing your way through their defense? Can you repeat? Were you surprised at all that they started small? Uh, I think you had 17, 18 rebounds in the first half as a result. Why do you think you were so impactful inside? I don't know. But our defense was really good. Our defense was really good, and uh, I just got, I was just getting there to rebound the ball. So um, I think that's why. You know, and they, and they didn't surprise us. Uh, we knew they're gonna send Vando, or they're gonna start Vando, or they're gonna start um, Schroeder. So it was one of another. So they didn't surprise us. Nicola, when you hit that three at the end of the third, uh, AD smiled, and you looked like you shrugged at him. What were you thinking at that point? Oh. Sometimes the luck is on our side. It's a crazy shot, of course. It's not something that I'm work on, but you know, I'm glad that it went in. You you told us uh, yesterday you don't have a strategy when you think about like should I be more physical or anything like that. You were very aggressive to start the game. What made you see that being aggressive was going to work? It's a playoff. I mean, we need to be aggressive. We need to win a game. So. Uh, especially from a pro home crowd, especially because they they won cup, uh, two game ones, so it was. I think it's uh, being aggressive. It's a normal uh, right now. Nicola, just a moment ago, Jamal said that Contavious was one of the most professional teammates he's ever had. As you're making this first playoff run with him on your team, can you just talk about what he brought tonight, what he's brought during these few weeks as you've been on this first postseason with him. I think he said I answered on this question 17 times for real. <laughs> KCP is a great, he's a champion, he's a, he's a winner, he knows what to do, he's a, he's a professional, he's a vocal, vocal, his stuff, so he knows, he knows what's his role and he's doing it the best in the world. Nicola, you mentioned how, how good that defense was early, it kind of disappeared in the second half. What was the biggest difference between what you guys did in the first half and what happened in the second half? Huh. I mean, uh, I think we would. I don't know, you know. I, but it's not just us. It's it's them too. You know, they're 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 really good. Uh, they're a really good team. They're uh, they're um, they have AD who is who is playing really really well. Uh, who they have LeBron who is um, affecting the games in every possible way. Uh, Austin we've played really well today uh, uh, for them. Uh, so, you know, do we play really well for them too. So, you know, it's sometimes the offense beats the defense, I think. Now, Nicola, when they go big and, and keep Rui in there for a while, how does that kind of change things or make it more difficult? I mean, we, we saw it before. We saw it uh, against uh, Minnesota. Uh, we saw it even in, in the season. Uh, so we were just... I, we, I had a couple turnovers. I had a couple turnovers and missed shot. Uh, mm, so I, I think I think it doesn't surprise us, but I think we're gonna figure it out because we we did it last. I don't know. Whenever they did to us. Just um, going up against Anthony Davis in this series, you guys went one on one a lot tonight. A lot of possessions in the post. What's just the challenge in, in going against a defender that's that's so skilled defending one on one like that? Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a really, 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 first of all, talented. Uh, he's a, a role threat. He's he can play in a pocket. He can play ice. So he can play uh, on the post. So he's really, really talented. Probably the most skilled guy. If you think about the size and what uh, like what he can do with the ball and how good mid range or shooter he shooter he is and he, how he is attacking the glass. So I think probably one of the most talented player <clears throat> in the league. Oh, I, I, your didn't, I didn't ask for but I can answer it. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola, there was a play uh, as the lead was kind of getting, it was getting smaller, where Michael gets on the floor and digs out a loose ball and the, goes the other way for a fast break dunk. How important is it and for Michael in those situations to just just give it give it his all on the defensive end uh, for, for you guys? Yes, I mean, he made a b big block in the end. Not in the end. I mean, the, I don't know, four quarter. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that was a big, big moment. Um, I was there. 
and then ball went off of LeBron's leg. Then Mike got it on the floor, got it. Then he was fighting with LeBron for the ball. The ball, the ball went in the air. No, KCP took it and he passed to Jamal, and Jamal, Jamal finished. Uh, uh, Jamal passed to AG. Big, big moment. Uh, it was three for us, and then it was five for us in that moment. So, big, big moment. You know, and I think that's a play of basketball. You know, those kind of situation matters a lot. It was a big battle between you and AD, but in the last quarter there was like adjustment and Hachimura go to you. So were you surprised or what can you tell us about about that? No, I just answered it on that question, my friend. Sorry. Coach said it was panic. It was poise, not panic in the fourth quarter. What what did you see from your teammates when they were making the big comeback and and what impressed you most about your refusal to give in? I mean, basketball? it's a playoff. I think it's a normal situation. You know, some team gets on the uh, gets on the run, and some teams, uh, you know, sometimes offense beats defense. Sometimes I think it's normal. But uh, we gotta take a win and take one zero for us. So of course, uh, I think we're good. Uh, we were getting we were getting looks. We got uh, KCP on the, on the, on the, on the on the, the forty five. A corner three. Uh, I miss. I miss. Uh, I miss a mid range. Whatever was fade away. Something. Jamal miss. Um, it was a mid range. Then AJ got a big offensive rebound, and there uh, two free throws. I mean, it's a. I think it's a. In those situations, it's a moments you cannot uh, think about it. What you're gonna do is you just you just play and you just try to win a game and try to try to defend the possession or try to score in the possession. Uh, Nicola, we know uh, Jamal was has been out the last couple of days uh, battling something. Comes up with 31 points. W what impressed you most about his night? I mean, he he was playing really well. The whole playoffs, I think he's playing amazing. Uh, mm, we all know that what he brings and uh, the toughness, and uh, of course, maybe he just faked it. He didn't want to practice, you know, just uh, <laughs> just to uh, get get it a couple of days off. Nicola, KCP said the only difference between you and LeBron is that he can jump higher than you. Do you feel like your games are similar? Uh, that's a really offensive. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. I mean, to be compared with the one of the best ever uh, or the best ever, I think it's really cool. It's really cool, but uh, I don't know. I think we don't have a similar game. He's a tag. Maybe we have a, like a similar global game, if that makes any sense. We affect the game in different ways, but he's, he's a really good player. Nicola, how important is it for you guys to play fast in this series? Uh, I mean, we need to defend first so we can play fast. That's that's the goal, uh, especially because how we know how they are good in transition and uh, and then uh, that's a big part of their game transition and fast break points. And whenever we have offensive rebounds, we can go. That's the, that's the best. That's the best points we can uh, we can get. I just got to ask Nicola, what do you think of Michael Porter's suit tonight? It was good. It was good. He's picking it up.